Sema unastaili wa
ni wewe ni wachabu tena wewe ni wachabu wewe ni wachabu mambo utenda wewe ni wachabu nani kama wewe nani kama wewe e bwana kala bole sila balale tunakutukuza bwana tunakutukuza Kukuzaba, Ewa 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 Tuna kutazama wewe peke yako Wewe peke yako Tuna kutazama wewe peke yako bwa Wewe peke yako Tawala Yesu Tawala Tawala Yesu Tawala Wewe Fawe Wanza Yuki Sima Wajuda Tawala Yesu 
Lift up your hands now, worship him. Atawale is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Tell the Lord now, speak to me. I am ready to hear from you. Oh, Jesus, the voice of God is strong. The voice of God is all that you need in this service. Can you tell him, Lord, speak to me? Let there be a word coming my way. In the name of Jesus, I want to hear from God. I desire to have the revelation of Jesus. Speak to me, Father, because there is no God like you. Thank you for allowing us in this service. Let your voice come through to us. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Son of God. We honor you, Jesus. Thank you for your word. Father, take all the glory today. Thank you for giving us this service today. Thank you for these men and women you have gathered for yourself in your presence. As we receive your word, Lord, establish your own kingdom. Let your will be done and let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray and the church of the Lord celebrate. You, know, you are clapping as if you are clapping to your to your fellow man. Can you make it louder? That is better and you use your mouth to glorify Jesus. God bless you. The Lord is here with us. You can have your seat. Let us go straight to God's word. What you are supposed to do in the time of favor what you are supposed to do. The reason why I'm sharing this is because your time of favor can come and then you miss the essence of favor. That is, you lose what God was releasing to your life in the time of favor. You can lose it. That is why we are not supposed to be careless. You are supposed to maximize the season. To do what? To maximize the season. To some of us is a time to launch deeper into business. To others is a time to launch deep into ministry. To others, you are supposed to go a step further in your assignments that God has given you. But you see, there are people who, who lack fervency. And you see, you are not supposed to be bypassed by a certain season. Maybe your season is to begin an international business for example and you don't have the money but you have the idea and the time is this what are you supposed to do you don't wait for money to come you move as god moves you because i've realized in my work with god that god can prepare you mentally he can prepare your heart when you have nothing in your pocket. The Bible says Abraham went without knowing where he was going. He began 
He started the journey. So God is not supposed to be limited by your mathematical mind. The moment you realize it's your season, do what the season demands. You remember what Samuel, what God told Saul. He told him the spirit of God will come upon you. Then you'll be turned into a new man. Then do as the occasion does what? Demands. Why? Because you are anointed of God. This is the time of favor. And if you are not careful. If you are not going to know what you are supposed to do. Then the season will pass. In Genesis chapter 18. Genesis chapter 18. What are we supposed to do in the time of favor? God's word says in verse 1, And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. Listen. At this time, Abraham and Sarah were very old. And Isaac was not, not yet arrived. They were under, as, as in quotes, they were under a very bad attack of barrenness. Nothing was working in the area of having children. Nothing was working. But you see, we serve a God of times and a God of seasons. So as he was sitting under the tent, the Bible says, verse 2, that he lifted up his eyes and looked and looked. Three men stood by him. Listen, he never saw them coming. I don't know whether you know how to read English. <laughs> Abraham never saw these visitors coming. He was sitting. Then when he lifted up his eyes, he saw them right there. Right there. That is what happens with the, with the time of favor. Favor may never announce itself. You may be somewhere in your house and you don't know that the hand of favor is upon your life. Because maybe you are waiting for something to confirm it. He lifted his, his eyes and behold, he saw these three men. They were angels of God visiting with him. And the word of God says, and when he saw them, he did what? The Bible says he ran to meet them from the tender and he bowed himself toward the ground. Now, my Bible says three men. Listen, it takes a revelation for you to see beyond a man. To see that is a messenger of God. Kwa hivyo inawezekana kama mimi ningekuwa hapo. Singe banya vile alifanya. Aliona wa watu. Now, the Bible is so interesting. Why? He never saw them coming at the first. He was sitting, then he found them already arrived. But when he lifted his eyes, the Bible says he ran. Now, where was he going? If they were already there, where is he going now? Why is he running? I will tell you what it means. You see, what you see in the natural, what you see in the natural is different from what you see in the spirit. In the natural, they were men who had already arrived. But in the spiritual realm, they were already 
on their way coming towards him. So he ran to meet with them. When you discover that this is your time of favor, don't waste your time analyzing issues. And write that one. Never waste your time doing your mathematics. It will never work. Because favor is supernatural. It's something you cannot budget. Awezi ipangia. Awezi kuipangia. You see, we have, we have borrowed a lot from the business world to do the work of the ministry or even to walk with God. But listen, in the time of favor, there is no formula that you follow. There is no formula that Mary followed to conceive Jesus. And there is no formula that, that Abraham now and Sarah are following to have th these three visitors. It is what we call a divine visitation. Kutembelewa kiungu. And so when you realize that this is a divine visitation, you don't hesitate. I believe you have also gotten that. The teaching is very simple. Yani ungojei wakati umejua hundi ya wakati mungu amekutebelea. Amekulete ya kibali. You run. You don't waste your time. Pray after me. Say Lord Jesus. I will not waste my time anymore. In the time of my visitation. So the Bible says he lifted up his eyes and looked. And lo, three men stood by him. But the Bible says, and when he saw them, he ran to meet with them. How do you meet with this? How do you run to meet with this? somebody who is already where you are? This tells you you are supposed to be prepared for spiritual manifestations. It tells me this man lived all these years expecting this man. Alikuwa naishi akiwa anawangojea. Akiwa anawatarajia. Now, say again. Say this word. Say expectation. Say it again. Kama hauna matarajio wakati wakibali ukifika. Utapitwa. And you are supposed to do things very fast. Very fast. You remember how we built this small sanctuary here? You know what happened? We were, it was raining the month of March last year. is when we built this sanctuary here. It was last year, March. And as I was preaching, finishing preaching, and I turned, and I dusty tent here, a very small voice told me, put this tent down and begin to build. Kama ninge kachini na waze wa kanisa, kabla mungu ajaiweka ndani yangu, ainge weze kana. Let me try to explain what I'm saying. I don't know why my guys have decided to remove speakers from down here. So listen, so I will not hear myself when I come down here. Now listen, God's people. The problem that we have in our time, the problem that we have, especially us who are married, the challenge, not a problem, is because my times with God, listen, my times with God differ with the times that, the time of my wife with this God, with her God. Are you getting what I'm saying? I can be on, I can be in, in February 2022 when she's in March 2021. And you are you are in the same house. You are in the same church. You are in the same company. 
That is why you will always find conflict. You find what? Conflict. Kwa sababu wakati wangu umefika lakini wakati wake bado haujafika. The question is will I wait for her or for him to agree with my time? We'll let wise men speak. Will you wait? Kwa sababu wakati wake wa kufanya kitu umefika wakati wangu haujafika what will you do you are supposed to realize the time of your visitation then you move very fast kwa sababu wageni ambao wanatembelea Ibrahimu hapa hawakuja wakae na yeye siku tano walikuwa wanapitia hapo wakienda kuharibu Sodom and Gomorrah and that is why i'm praying for you to have spiritual sensitivity kwa sababu wakati wako utafika na ukiwa umefungua macho wakati ukupita ukupita ukupite ukupite na utaanza kusema pasta kuna wakati ningefanya lakini sikufanya And another thing I'm seeing in the life of this man we are still in Genesis 18 verse 2 the word says and when he saw them he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself toward the ground somebody say amen <laughs> I'm sure joy kwamba hawa ata kama nje ni watu ni Mungu huyu and that is why i believe in the holy trinity i believe in god the father and i believe in god the son and i believe in god the holy spirit he saw three men lakini wakati alijua hawa sio watu alianguka kifundi fundi and the bible says he did what he bowed himself this man was waiting for them i believe so why am i saying that verse 3 tells you and he said what did he say he said my lord now Wait a minute. He didn't say my lords plural. Watu ni watatu wale ambao wanaonekana lakini wakati anawaongelesha. Akasema So walikuwa wangapi? Simnifungie mkono. Walikuwa wangapi? Watatu ndio wanaonekana kwa macho ya nje. Lakini kwa macho ya ndani anaona mtu moja naye ni nani ni jehova may your eyes open i say may your eyes open and you see god in your family you see god in the work of your hands and you see god in your health abraham saw god at home wakati wakibali aliona kile anafaa kuona. Kwa hivyo ni nini unafaa kufanya? Wakati wa kibali, omba Mungu afungue macho yako ya ndani. Kwa sababu wakati utafika na ukose kujua ufanye nini. Kwa sababu hakuna chochote unaona. Abraham was able to see three men but he realized by revelation that this must be god you know what he said verse 3 all of you read 1 2 and they said what he said my lord if now i have found what favor in thy sight pass not away i pray thee from thy servant now he has become a servant meaning Abraham was very humble. 
We see humility in the life of this man. We see humility. Yaani aliona watu watatu. Kwa nje lakini ndani akajua ametembelewa na akawaambia akawaambia kama nimepata fadhili ama kibali eh yeah. na kuomba akusema kama nimepata kibali kwa macho yenu sio wengi he was able to see god and this day <laughs> The God who appeared to Abraham is going to appear you in your unique personal way in Jesus name. Kuna njia Mungu utampata. Na utajua kwa sababu anasema if now underline it verse 3. He says if now I have found favor in thy sight pass not away. I pray thee from thy servant. From thy servant. Ndiyo maana, angalia, angalia Hebrews chapter 13, lakini usifunge pale. Ndiyo sababu sio kila mgeni akikutembelea kwako kwa nyumba. Unamwambia nilikuwa naenda kazi. Kwa njia ya kumfukuza. Because Hebrews chapter 13 tells us something different in verse 2. Hebrews 13 verse 2. The Bible says, Be not forgetful to do what? To entertain strangers. For by so some have entertained angels unawares. Musisao kwa fadhili wageni. Maana kwa njia hii. Wengine waka wakadhibisha malaika mbila wao. Kujua angalia ni kuambie. Inawezekana ulifukuza mgeni siku moja. Alikuwa ni malaika wabwana. Kwa sababu wa kutambua. Wewe uliona tu ugali itararuriwa. Chakula chetu kitakuliwa wageni ni wengi chakula ni kidogo. Unaanza kumwambia tulikuwa tunataka kwenda Kayole. Kwa au uko unaenda Kayole. Ni uchoyo. Unakosa kuelewa kuna wakati wa kutembelewa. Wakati wa Mungu anakutembelea na unakosa kuwa sensitive. Now this can be your husband, the normal man you see in your house. This can be your wife or your neighbors or your children. You are supposed to be sensitive. You are supposed to be sensitive because you can take one step and you lose everything that you have because of lack of sensitivity. Abraham is now telling this man, if, if, if this, this man, and now he's God, he says, if I have found favor in your sight, don't pass me by. Kaini yapa. Kaini yapa. Verse 4. Hmm. We, are an, we are in Genesis, eh? not Hebrews. We are in Genesis 18. Verse 4 is now telling them, Let a little water, I pray you, be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree. This man was so humble. And again, we see Abraham as a very generous man. I don't know whether you will remember these things. This man was so humble. He was ready to call these strangers my Lord. He was, as, he was ready to say, I am your servant. Mimi ni mtumwa wenu. Mimi ni mtumwa wenu na wame kwake. He was very humble. 
And again, he was extremely generous in the time of favor. When God's favor is upon your life, remember to be generous to people who have nothing. Because there is a time will come that you will need them. Favor. These are the things we don't do in our time. You get so blessed financially. You have so many materials in your life. But you can't remember extending a hand of favor to somebody. Abraham was very generous. He was a very humble human being. And so listen, verse 5. It says, and I. Did he say I will send somebody? Are you in verse 5? He says, and I will fetch a morsel of bread and comfort ye your hearts. After that you shall pass on. For therefore are ye come to your servant. And they said, do so as thou hast said. <laughs> do so as you have said. So these strangers they felt so comfortable in that home. Wakambiwa na Ibrahimu, mimi mwenyewe, nitaleta chakula. Mimi mwenyewe nitaleta chakula. Think about Abraham serving food. I will bring food. So that also tells you, that in the time of favor, you are supposed to be diligent. Mtu abidi. Usifigirie kibali kinakuja alafu kifanya mambo yote. Hapana. Siyes thou a diligent man. He shall stand before kings and not before mean men. Don't allow laziness to destroy your seasons of favor. I was talking to a great man of God this week and I told, he asked me, what is your plan as you teach? Because he realized that I was teaching in a, I teach in lunch or meetings. I told him in next year, now for the next nine years, I'm 41, as I go towards 50 years, I will, I will not preach lunch or meetings. I told him. God did not tell me that. Mungu wa kuniambia ni mimi napanga. Ikifika umuri wa miaka msini ni hacha lunch meetings. Na wakati nitawacha, nitafanya mikutano ingine tofauti. You know why? <laughs> right now, I am in my, my, my afternoon years. Afternoon. Sio mchana kabisa. Wengine hapa, wale watu walikuwa nambi wa siende kanisani, 65 years, wako saa kumina mbini, msori. Wako masaya ya njioni, wako masaya ya njioni. So naangalia ikifika miaka msini ni badilishe strategy ya kazi. I preach yes, but very strategic meetings, not just doing meetings, very strategic. Because the Bible says, Lord, teach me how to number my days that I may apply my heart to wisdom. Teach me how. Hapa kuna watu wanabatisha. Angalia ile biashara unafanya na miaka yako. Ukiona zingia ni funga. Uanzie biashara ya miaka yako. Angalia ile kazi unafanya sahi kama inaenda sambamba na wakati huu. Be wise. Abraham was so powerful. He knew this is my time. I'm going to serve morsel of bread to these visitors and then I will let them go. And then they told him now, you are a wise man. Continue. Serve us. So listen. Some of Great men of God I know today. They served other men of God. Serving them. I know a man in Tanzania, no, in Uganda. 
is a blessed servant of God, Pastor Robert Kayanja. How did he come up? He became an interpreter of T.L. Osborne. That is how he came up. I know a, a great man of God in Zambia. He interpreted for Renan Bonge. Everything changed. Wewe tafuta mtu umutumikie inaweze kana sio wa klasi yako kimasomo. You serve that man. In the time of favor of a calm pride of a calm pride defeat it because if you are not going to defeat it it will terminate the flow of favor in your life it will it a ikata. so he served them and the word of god says verse 6 and abraham has turned into the tent and to sarah and say make ready quickly three measures of fine meal and knead it and make cakes upon the earth. Now, kama ingekuwa ni mwanamuke mwingine, umuambie ni kona wageni wangu wa tatu wamekuja hapa. Hamuka sai. Pika chapati tatu na mchicha. Mama anakuambia awaku nipigia simu. Wewe ndiyo ulipanga na wao. Wewe wapikie. I can see some men smiling. Sababu maybe usha sikia kitu kama hiyo kwako. Wewe wapikie sahi. Ukiona, you, you see, <laughs> Mukitembelewa na in-laws. Unanza kuona nyuzo za watu zimebadilika. Unafaa kuona mbali kuliko mtu mwenyame kutembelea. Abraham saw. So, so deep. Haliona mungu watu wakiona watu. Akambia sara. Arakisha sana. na niaribia time eh? akaenda emani kwa sara na kuna mtu anashangaa kwani hawako wanaishi pamoja niangalie nikwambie wao wakati sara and abraham were not actually living together they had somehow separated because of the age kila mtu na kanyumba yake Uyo nakaa kwa tent ya Sara. Ndiyo sababu wakati Isaac ya lizaliwa. Aga kuja kuwa. Aku peleka mke wake. Kwa tent ya Ibrahim. Alimpeleka kwa tent ya nani? Ya Sara. Familia. Zinaweza zikawa na challenge. Upate ya kwamba. Watu amelala kitanda kimoja. Lakini moja amelega kichwa yake pandei. Na ule ingine kichwa pandei mubi. Kama ngombe. Ngombe nje ulala hivu. Eka nise menyamaza. Yani wamepitana hivu. <laughs> Glory to God. Yani alimuambia. Arakisha sana. Kufanya nini? Unga safi. Ukande. Ufanya michapati. Verse 7. And Abraham ran. Now who is running? Wewe unaza tu mwana na ukimbie na mtu umujui. Now, kama ungeona yu familia, vile ilikuwa imejishugulisha, uyu anakanda, eh? yule mwingine na nimuze, wako na miaka 90. 90. And they are running around, trying to do something. In the time of your favor, you will be awake enough to know what to do. I say you'll be awake enough to know what to do. What to do. Glory to God. Thank you Jesus. Thank you son of God. And Abraham ran unto the heart and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto a young man and they hastened to do what? 
Yaani mtu anachinja peke yake. Lakini wewe lazima kuku ishikaniwe. Now, let me ask you a question. Was there a time to, to discuss what to give? Situongeleshe haraka. Kulikuwa na wakati wa kuita mkutano unaoneleaje? Tutoyaka kangombe ama kale? When the time of favor comes and you know it, do what God lays in your heart and you do it quickly. Awaku kwa wakaelewana. Unajua hiyo ni kitu moja na nashangaa. <laughs> Nasikia siku hizi and this is from Belgium I had from I had I had, I had that. Imeingia mpaka kwa makanisa, imeingia mpaka kwa familia zetu. <laughs> Listen, there are things I can agree with my wife. There are things I don't need to sit down with her. Because God when he told Abraham, bring your son, I want to eat him. Was there discussion? Na hii mambo ya lazima tukubaliane ili toka wapi? I don't believe it. I don't believe it when I come to the things concerning God. Because one has to hear from God, the other one has to follow. Najua kuna mtu anasema huyu jamani ni inaitwaje analog. Ni analog. It is not that I'm analog. It is simply the word of God. The word of God. God told Abraham, "We are you are leaving, you are going to to Canaan." You are going. He never spoke to Sarah and who? And Lord. But they were to follow without questions. These days, we are terminating God's favor because we don't know when God is moving to do something. Abraham, I, I read this thing yesterday and I didn't want to preach it. I asked myself, this man was so organized. Kijana chinja. Mama. Kanda. Mimi. Dio nachangue ile inakulewa. Na mimi nitasafu. Very powerful family. With a lot of weaknesses. Yes. But God was there. And the Bible says in verse 8. And he took butter. Now who took butter? Abraham and milk, and the calf which he had dressed, and set it before them, and they stood by them under the tree as they did eat. Then you are liwasav. Bata, maziwa, ukiangaleza zote ni protein. Akatua siyagi na maziwa. Na ndama alio Nilikuwa na njuliza kama kijana mmoja hivi Mtu mmoja hivi alichinja ngombe peke yake Ndama Akawaekea mbele yao Na akasimama hapo kando Chini ya mti Na wakala Sasa wakati hapo wanakula Na amini ya kwamba Ibrahimu wanangojia neno fulani Anaona wanaume ndi hawa Anawaita my lord. Lakini anashanga. Vile wanararua nyama. Hawa ni watu wa inagani yao. Hawa ni watu wa inagani yao. Hawa ni watu wa inagani. Mungu watusaidie. Verse 9. Fungia mwenzako mkono muambie ndiyo hiyo sasa. Wakati ndiyo huo. And they said unto him. Where is Sarah your wife? You know, nashukuru mungu. Kukuizi. Niliona na si. Zijasema kwa ubaya. Mini vile tu ni kushanga hanga tu. Na ziambia mtu yote afanya kama mimi. Ziambia mtu yote afanya kama mimi. Lakini hii tabia ya mahali popote waze wa kiongea. Lazima muke wangu wakaya abaskize. Mama Saruri. Na mama analazimisha. Anasema kama mungu kwa hiyo mungu tano. Mimi nitakuwa. 
unless you eat with me akai acha nitumie miaka hiyo uliko na kaa mbali na wazee yeah. Sarah was somewhere but thank God the time of visitation has done what so the angel now is speaking where wakamwambia you wapi Sarah mimi mimi nilikuwa nafikiria Sarah angetokea ati eh, kuna wageni ni aje sasa wageni goteni karibuni na nyinyi kina nani <laughs> mnaenda wapi akukua na wakati there was there was order so where there is order there is favor where there is order you will find god's favor there i believe somebody is learning i am learning from these things very powerful things and the bible says in verse 9 and they said unto him where is thy wife where is Sarah thy wife and he said behold in the tent all of you verse 10 1 2 and he said i will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life and lo sara thy wife kwani umeacha kusoma sara thy wife shall have a son oh <laughs> a time of favor has come be it says next year <laughs> according to the time of life sara your wife will have a son that family knew how to maximize the hour of visitation hii ni kitu sisi hatujajua wao unaona pasta amekutembelea ama mtu mwingine amekutembelea lakini unafikiria ni kawaida hii ni kawaida kabisa sio kawaida this family knew how to tap to maximize the hour of their visitation ndama imechinjwa unga wa ngano ulikuwa tayari kijana alikuwa hapo wa kuchinja and the, and the man of god was ready to serve and as they were eating he was just sitting standing next to them and the one of them said what did he say next and he said i will certainly meaning meaning this time round nobody will postpone it hakuna kusongesha hakuna <laughs> hakuna kusongesha hakuna kucheleweshwa na hakuna kuendelea ukiwa tasa kwa sababu ni wakati wa kutembelewa kwenu i am speaking this knowing that next year a time like now all of you hearing me you'll be so blessed you forget all the years of waiting if you are the one say amen you will forget all the years of waiting glory to god yani ilikuwa ni kama ni kama ni kama drama ni kama video watu wamekutembelea watu watatu lakini hiyo conversation inaendelea ya ajabu na moja anasema next year akamwambia hakika nita na wako watatu nitakurudia wakati huu huu mwakani na tazama sara mkeo atapata mwana na ni wa kiume na sara akasikia <laughs> akasikia mulangoni na akafanya nini akacheka na akaulizwa na akakataa itabia hii ilitoka mbali bwana asifi verse 10 and he said no okay verse 
He says, now Abraham and Sarah, how are they? They were old. And they were stricken in age. And it ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. She was past menopause. Therefore, Sarah loved. Unajua kwa nini alicheka? Alijijua yeye kama mama. <laughs> Alikuwa mesha koma kabisa katika desturi ya wanawake. Alikuwa ni mzee. Paka wazee walikuwa na muita mzee. Ah, oja. Unajua ni mesha yona nikisema hivyo. Ah, we are in the hour of the prophetic. Hey, wacha nisimame hata sitatoka hapa. Kusimame. Kidogo tu just stand on your. Nisha yona nikiwa kumesimama hapo nikasema maneno haya. Nasitaki mtu akose visitation yake. Nyosha mikono chiu. Oh Father. In the name of Jesus. Next year. Mwaka ujao. Mwaka ujao. Wakati kama huu Miunjiza ikawe kwa mikono yetu Kudhibitisha neno la leo Na itisha kile unataka sahi Zakaba alabu zakabe zilia lila laba ilaba Inawezekana umeambiwa umechelewa Au jachelewa Inawezekana umezeka, umeambiwa umesha zeka, wakati wako umesha pita. I am standing before you as a man of God. Next year, a time like today, your hands will have touched the reality of God in the name of Jesus. Oh, ngana buwana. Kuna, kuna unema sahi na tembea Zakabo lezili ya leba Kalele zakabe Zakaba labo zekele ya ma Lazelele ya ma habo zukome leba Next year a time like now Your business will not be the way you are Yes, wale wanao tarajia watoto Kama vile Jehovah mungu wangu wa ishivyo Ninatabiri kwa jina la kristo Mwakani wakati kama huu Utakuwa na mtoto kwa mikono yako Utakuwa na mtoto kwa mikono yako Lezala balaweza Oh Jesus Son of God, Son of God, Udiyo wakati mungu anangeuza maisha yako. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dreamed. Then they said among the heaven, the Lord has done great things for them. Yes. Oh Jesus No shayo mikono na umuambia buwana Na pokeo pako Sai Waku wakikisha ilo neno limetendeka Mwakani majira kama haya Yes wakati kama huu Wakati kama huu Tukimalizia maombi ya kibali mwezi wa nane Wana uliniambia Nifundishe watu wako kibali Na nimefanya vile uliniambia And now I pray In the name of Jesus 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 Next year A time like today Oh, 
Kwaomba ni kama hutawahi kuomba tena na kupatia dakika mbili. Oh, somebody receive power. Zakaba <laughs> Ninaitoa saa hii kwa maisha yako. Mambo iliyozuia ndoa yako, harusi yako. Nasema ikaondoke. Isiwepo tena, isiwepo tena. Wacha kibali cha Bwana kiongee. Oh yes. This is the time for favor to speak on your behalf. Auto itaji kudhibitishia mtu chochote. Wacha kibali kiongee. Wacha kibali kiongee. Kwa biashara kwa afya yako, kwa huduma. Wacha kibali kiongee. Zakaba zelelele. Zaba la musa. Kalelelele. Zelelele na na na. Wacha kibali kiongee. Usipoelewa wakati wa kibali, utakipinga. <laughs> Usipoelewa ni kibali, utaenda kinyume na kibali. Utafikiria ni watu wanapanga. Ni watu wanapanga, sio watu wanapanga. Jehova Jehova Kibali kinyeshe Oh Jesus Sakaba babu Oh Jesus I hear the voice of God Udio wakati kibali kitaongea kwa niaba yako Yes yes umejaribu kwa nguvu zako umejaribu kwa uwezo wako wote This is the time Sakabo zelele la 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 Jehova let your favor speak Oh Jesus Jesus Namba utafuta dhabiu sio sadaka na sio fungu la 10 If you believe God's favor can he speak on your behalf Come and put something where I'm standing here I not just anything This is the time favor is speaking on your behalf. Claim the word of God. Wewe ndio unajijua vile kibali kinahitajika. Inawezekana ni kama Sara na Ibrahim. Walizeka, wakazeka, wakazeka. Sara akapitisha wakati wakati wa desturi ya wanawake. Akasabu ya kwamba kupata mtoto Imekusha Oh Jesus Sakaba babo Even those who are watching our services online Do what we are doing Call to your empresa Give something you never planned for the hand of God is upon us here. Oh, Jesus.
For Sarah laughed within herself, saying, After I am waxed old, shall I have pleasure, my Lord being all. And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh, saying, Shall I of sure to bear a child and am all? Is there any to anything? He says, Is anything too hard for the Lord? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord, say, my Ebuana, Kwanzia Sai, Akuna Lisila was a Kana, Kwamaishayangu. Kwa sababu ya kibali Umewachiria Mwezi mzima Mwezi wa nane Are you ready? Are you sure that you are ready? In the name of Jesus Receive power of favor Receive signs and wonders Miracles that is, is a result of favor. Next year, a time like now, your mouth will glorify God for what will have come in your life. Somebody say, Yes, Lord. You catch your miracle in the name of Jesus. Zakaba habe salabala. Zakaba lo be zakaba la bus. Zakaba bo zakaba lo be lelele alabala. Oh my God. From now, from today, in this month of September that is beginning, to the other next, the next year September, I announce it to be a year of your favor. Oh Jesus Oh Jesus 
Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Celebrate the Lord. Him and his wife after they lost their child sometime. Is it two years ago, three years ago? And I prayed for them for his wife here. To the glory of God, they have another child who was born how many years, how many days ago? Three days ago. Celebrate the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Next year, a time like today, God will have granted you the desire of your heart. And so shall it be. I celebrate God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You know, when I'm preaching, and that is why I always tell my guys here to say these things. Eh? Because when I'm preaching, I'm listening. And as I was preaching, I saw myself standing here. And I was quoting those words. And we are in that prophetic moment where things happen. Kama una maskio vizuri. Katia sai. Na September ya next year kama sasa watu watakushanga Nasema watu watakushanga Wakati wasichana wa 25 years waliona Sara anaenda clinic Wakati wa mama wa miaka 30 waliona Sara na mimba ya miezi tisa kabla hajaenda kujifungua waliona nini Mama wa miaka 99 ana mimba na ana complications akwenda kuona nani gynecologist colonist ako sawa 99 na mimba and your sababu bila na sema ya kwamba na wale ambao watamuona watacheka yeye alisema hivyo na hiyo ndio njina ya Isaac Isaac means laughter hata sasa mimi najua watakaa kuona kati ya saa hii na September ya next year watacheka pamoja na wewe Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. One temple church of God is not waiting for the prophetic word of the year 2021. We still have, we have it. In Akuja Mapema. Glory to God. Karibu kiti. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to give in honor to God. Quickly, very quickly, we have two minutes. The other service to start. Actually, yes, we are not late. We are within that time. So, usiwe na nasandaka na fungula kumi kwa mfuko. Arakisha kabisa. Watakao kuona, watacheka pamoja na wewe. Wana asifiwe. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Kama taithi yako yiko tayari, nasandaka. Tafadhali. Usingoje. Uweke hapa na uketi kwa kiti yako. Ini ni kupatia direction. Please come quickly. 
tugawana wale tuko bande hii wale wanatuangalia kutoka mahali ulipo the prophetic presence of god is very strong here do what we are doing pay your tithe i've seen people pay tithe all the way from mombasa kisumu kwa ile ibada imepita kwa manchi ni kuna watu wanafanya hivyo na wewe uko hapa ndani glory to god glory to god glory to god watakao kuona watacheka pamoja na wewe thank you jesus na baba baba saka bosu kobolo ese nene nena baba leta mpaka sandaka yako mpaka sandaka sio fungu la kupepeka yako Come with your offering. Come with your offering. Now get it.